We are moving on to the last couple of presentations now, and we have Sally Ricks from, with us from East Anglian Children's Hospice. Um, Sally um, is going to do her presentation. So my name is Sally Ricks and I work for each, which is East Anglers Children's Hospice. At the moment, we are we really need people um, to volunteer because we're um, 50 percent down due to the pandemic. So our volunteer hours, um, we normally would have a, a, say been cut and we really rely on our volunteers they're such valuable members of our team and they bring with them such a diverse um, knowledge and skills. They're amazing people who um, really um, become part of the team and contribute to our daily success. We have people um, ranging in age from 14 years to 95 years volunteering on our shops and actually the, some of the older ladies um, put me to shame sometimes with their energy and um, skills. So we need um, volunteers to raise that vital money for our hospices and respite care for our families. As a volunteer um, you might decide you want to um, support each um, in other ways. There are different ways of volunteering. We have the hospices, we have um, the fundraising teams, and we also have retail and admin. So there's quite a choice. Could I have the next slide, please? So I'm just going to say a little bit about um, the actual hospice. East Anglers Children's Hospice cares for young people with life-threatening diseases and conditions across Cambridge, Essex, Norfolk and Suffolk. And they support their families, um, especially like the siblings who sometimes um, have to take a back step sometimes because of the care um, involved with the children. So our services include specialist nursing care, symptomatic management, short breaks, well-being activities, therapies such as art or music therapies, and that's for all the family, and counselling and the volunteer services in the family homes, all them meeting the individual needs of a child and young person and whole family. So sometimes a, a volunteer will go in to a family's home and just give them a couple of hours to go shopping or, or time in the garden with their other sibling, which is really lovely. The um, families accessing our care um, and those who um, have had bereavement has each of his lifeline, um, which is a great thing when it's a difficult time. Could I have the next slide, please? So this is part of our vision and mission at each. So we aspire daily to lead the way in providing world-class care for children with life-threatening life conditions. Every child deserves support alongside their families whenever and whenever they need it. And our mission is to improve the quality of life and well-being of every child and family under our care by providing individual and comprehensive services at all times. Could I have the next slide, please? So as I come from retail, we um, have sort of adjusted the vision and mission to reflect what we do in the retail shops. So we aspire to be the most successful and loved charity shop in the community because we want to raise those funds for our children and our volunteers are really part of that. And without them, we wouldn't be here. We can't operate without our volunteers. They are so valuable to our services. And our retail mission 
because we care for the children, we want to grow through our financial contribu contribution to the charity by delighting our customers through choice and product and price and exceptional experience we provide, improving our bi business efficiency to, to maximise our next net contribution. Sorry, I've got the tongue twist. Um, next slide, please. So this is why our volunteers are so important to us. Our volunteers are at the heart of each and whatever role they have, whether it be fundraising, helping in one of our shops, hospices or directly working alongside the families, they'll be helping children and young people and their families across East Anglia to make most of their precious time. Choosing to volunteer in one of our retail lo locations will help generate the income needed to support the care we provide. In turn, we hope that all our volunteers have a rewarding experience, meet new friends and thoroughly enjoy their time with us. Next slide, please. These are um, two of our um, volunteers, um, a couple that volunteer in one of our shops. And I'm just going to read, as we look at the different um, pictures of volunteers, some of the um, quotes some of the volunteers have given us. So one of the volunteers said, I've met some wonderful people volunteering for each. I've made new friends and ha with some volunteers. I love visiting the hospice and seeing how the children's palliative care has advanced since I was a nurse. The support provides me and each with outstanding time. I am proud to be involved and here's to the next 11 years. Could I have the next slide, please? Um, this chap is um, brilliant and he um, he's really good at admin. And he, um, quote is, it's nice to put my IT skills to use, to use my skills and achieve some goals. Next slide, please. While I wait for the next slide, I'll read another um, volunteer. I wanted to find a volunteering experience where I could utilise and strengthen my marketing skills while benefiting a local charity. For any student or young person looking for work experience, I would thoroughly recommend volunteering for each as it is such a rewarding experience in many different aspects. The chap on the photograph is... Um, a great volunteer. He's quite an all-rounder. He volunteers in one of our long stratton shops and he does pat tests and he does till. He's a great odd job man. He's a key holder. So he is a wonderful chap and he will come in at a moment's notice. Like a lot of our volunteers, we're very privileged to have such dedicated staff. Next um, slide, please. This lady, um, again, does lots of um, different roles. You can see she's stealing some clothes. She's great at merchandising. She does till. She sorts. Um, great customer service. It's a wonderful um, shop, again, to have such a um, lovely lady who can uh, multitask and do lots of different areas for us. Just going to read another quote from another volunteer. I think there's an awful lot of people who like to push them, who don't like to push themselves forward in case they're not good enough or something. But actually, there's a role for everyone, and that is very true. Could I have the next slide, please? These um, ladies are one of our corporate um, team of volunteers. We often have um, teams of corporate people come in who will come for a day or a week. And these, that's wonderful to have them. And often once they've been um, once, they will then come again because they have such a great time and they can actually do things they wouldn't normally do, like a window, um, steaming, 
sorting, eBaying. So they really get a chance to use different skills on the days they come with us. There's another, um, just another little quote I'm going to say from another volunteer. I love talking to customers. I guess satisfaction from making them enjoy their job and, sorry, enjoy their day as well. It's just nice being able to give something back as well. Come and join us and have fun because that's what we do and we enjoy what we do. It's a nice way to get to know people in your community and get a warm feeling inside. Could I have the next slide, please? So these are the commitments we try and give to our volunteers because we are so grateful for the time and dedication that all our volunteers um, give to us. So we'll try and introduce you to the work of each and that involves um, trips to hospices if people would like. Um, there's certain times of year where we um, have a chance to look around hospices and we'll also provide training to carry out your role, whichever role you choose to do. We really value you as an individual and your skills and your diversity. And we hope to provide a healthy and safe working environment and we'll address anything that goes wrong. We also will resolve fairly any issues or grievances and difficulties you may have whilst volunteering with us. We have quite an open door and we always welcome feedback, whether it be positive or sometimes if something goes wrong, you need to speak to us. We provide support, appreciation and feedback and we always encourage people to try new skills. Next slide, please. So we decided at um, each just to write a rough um, volunteer role description for people who volunteer with us and then they might want to put it on their CV. So we've sort of drawn up a basic volunteer um, role description. So some of the um, roles um, we have are the sorting room assistant. We often have a person who does a book. Some of our um, shops are lucky enough to have a huge book room with chairs and, and comfort um, time so people can spend time reading and browsing in our rooms. So sometimes we get a dedicated assistant who might be in charge of the book room. Some people really enjoy being on the um, till. Um, front of house, talking to customers, great customer services. Other people like to do um, merchandising, um, windows, sales um, to improve. They might pick an um, item they want to promote. So we always encourage people to um, speak to if they want to do something and we'll try and um, allow them to um, use their skills to do that. We also have eBay champions and pack testers because we have electrical goods so as a shop manager they will be the mentor to help the people do their roles and expand other roles if they feel free to could i have the next um slide please so this is just our our um, values we have in each as part of our um, staff well-being and working practices and we also um, use these um, to help our volunteers work with customers and work um, with each other so empathy and understanding we always understand the views of others which is central to our organization our working relationships and how we interact daily, our commitment to quality. We consistently employ, employ our best efforts to strive to the highest standard in everything we do, always looking for ways to improve. And sometimes our volunteers can really be um, part of that. They can see things sometimes. Maybe we've been doing things the same way for a while and they can see um, where there is improvement. And we really welcome their feedback. We, we do strive to do our best 
and it's really nice to have people help us um, do that. We're open and respectful. We operate in an honest and participant way, welcoming constructive feedback and different views. We understand the power of words and behaviour and hold ourselves accountable for maintaining a positive and considerable work environment. This is really important. Um, our shops um, are very positive. We have a lot of fun and laughter, but we are aware sometimes things are going on in people's lives. So we make sure we're careful how we approach people and we realise the power of our words that sometimes we just need to um, be mindful of what is happening and make it happen. We're empowered to take responsibility for getting things done and we definitely do with our volunteers. They, they, they get us um, motivated and help us improve our shops. Could I have the next slide, please? I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to leave this for people to um, have a little look, look at. But we um, do really um, pride ourselves on customer service. We try to be community shops. We'll go that extra mile for our customers and volunteers. We want everyone to have a great experience when they come through the doors of each. Can I have the next slide, please? These are some of the things that we um, recognise that volunteers, um, we'd like them to have, um, obviously, because um, they are part of the community, part of our team, and they are serving customers. Or sometimes, even if they're not serving customers, customers will pop in our back rooms. So we do like people to be friendly and approachable, um, give good customer services. Hopefully um, work as part of a team, although sometimes we recognise that some people need that quiet time. Maybe they want to work on a display um, on their own. Sometimes some of the volunteers will help us do the paperwork and admin, but it's not essential. It help, is helpful to be organised and flexible because we um, sometimes do ask um, volunteers if they can possibly come in ad hoc or for a short. So it's quite quite nice if um, we've got that um, value in our volunteer. We hope they have a genuine interest and commitment to each. Um, the ones um, that I've seen, they certainly do. Great listening skills, um, confident in promoting gift day, which we train if if they are front of house and things. And then um, desirable, so it's handy sometimes if people do come from retail experience or customer services. And sometimes it is handy when um, someone's confident about operating a till. Next question, oh, the next slide please. So this is um, the recruitment process. All we um, ask our volunteers to do is fill in a simple application form, which if anyone has any problems, we will sit down and do it with them because we want people to volunteer with us. So we don't want the paperwork to hinder them. The informal interview is very informal. It's basically a chat over a cup of tea just to find out what the person um, is expecting of each. Uh, we can tell them the roles within each and then they can decide whether the volunteering is for them. And the only other thing we ask for is two references. And then after that, we start giving um, the relevant training if needed. Some people um, like to have a go at a different skill, so we'll support them within the training. To apply um, for each, you can either go through um, volunteers by phoning them or contact volunteer services at each.org.uk. Next slide, please. As part of our um, recognition of how wonderful our volunteers are, we do offer the chance to do um, MVQ Level 2 courses. 
And this is for anyone over 18. There's no age limit on the um, upper um, age. So the courses available are in retail and customer services. And what um, a volunteer can do is they can start this course at any time. So if they if they start at each and feel it's too much for them to start with, once they feel confident and if they want to then do a qualification to add to their CV, they can talk to their um, line manager at the shop and they will contact a mentor to support them through the qualification. And again, if someone struggles um, actually with written um, answers, again, we can have a mentor who will support them by recording their answers um, on a dictaphone or coming in to talk to them. So the qualification is open to everyone. Um, next slide, please. So um, we really want people to volunteer with, with us and join our each family because we are a family. We spend time going out with our volunteers. We have laughs with our volunteers. And most of all, we really do value the volunteers in our shops. And what I would like to say is I started a volunteer and I never intended to work for each, but I was drawn in. And I think I'm here for life now. So hopefully, um, a lot of our volunteers are as well. So hopefully we can gain some more volunteers to join us. Thank you. That's it. That's great. Thanks very much, Sally. Um, um, I'm sorry, I was really nervous. I, I don't yeah. normally do this sort of thing. I'm so sorry. Not at all. No. And, and, and I think you really made the point of how important it is to each and, and to, to the, the families and the children that you support. So yeah. thank you very much for, 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 for taking us through that. And I really hope that people respond to that and um, get to, to volunteer.